Oh. Hey, you. How are you? Sorry, I should have said hi to you earlier, but I saw you were busy. You were with your friends. No, I get it. I mean, I don't want to interrupt. That wouldn't really be nice, would it? I know. I'm back. Well, yeah. Yeah, I'm back for now. No, I don't really think I'm gonna leave anytime soon. <laughs> First, I told myself I'm coming here for a vacation, but... I really do miss it here a lot, so... I decided to stay. Yeah, I bought my own apartment. Thank you, it means a lot. So, what have you been up to? I haven't seen you in years. <laughs> you still look amazing. No, you really do. I'm not just saying that to wind you up. Okay, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but you do look really good. And... I don't know, I'm just surprised we ran into each other. I wasn't expecting it to happen so soon. Well, I guess I was just a little bit nervous to see you again. Uh, I don't know. I wasn't prepared for that. It is really good to see you, though. Seriously. So anyways, how's life been? A lot has changed ever since I was here, and... You and I haven't really talked in forever, so... <laughs> I'm trying to see what I missed out on. That girl that was with you guys, is she... Your girlfriend? She seemed a little bit touchy. <laughs> well, I do think it's interesting how you were being touchy with her as well, and staring at me from the distance. Almost like you knew that I was watching, and you did it on purpose. But, I'm not saying you did. I'm just saying that's what it looked like. I know. <laughs> I'm not jumping to conclusions. Besides, what you and I had is... just not. It's in the past now, I guess. Well, yeah, this used to be our spot. We would get ice cream from here all the time. Kind of feels like the old days. Yeah, our first date. <laughs> it does feel really nice to be here with you. You know, when you and I broke up, it didn't just feel like I lost you as a lover, but I felt like I lost you as a friend as well, and... <laughs> I don't know. I found myself missing you. And it sucked because I couldn't really do anything about it when I was so far away. <laughs> You're here and I was there and... I don't know. I don't want to be too pushy. I wanted to give you your distance. Space, yeah. I know. I missed you. <laughs> Missed you a lot, actually. On my way here, I was just thinking about seeing you again and how you'd react. A part of me was a little bit scared because I didn't know how you'd react. I thought you'd hate me and you'd tell me to go back and never come back here again. Well, I know that, I know. But I just couldn't really help it. You're incredibly sweet. That's something you can't do. And I think one of the many things that I loved about you is just your sweet and amazing side. <laughs> There's no point in saying all this now, I know. Just seeing you again brings back so many memories. <laughs> After all, you... You were my first love. Yeah. 
I don't know what I'm saying. Should probably just take my ice cream and leave now. It was really good to see. You. What? Why did I leave? Um. Well. There's so many reasons why I did. And if I start now, I don't think I'm gonna finish. Are you sure? Okay, well... Obviously, one of the main reasons that I did leave was because my parents did. Staying here wasn't really an option for me. They had college planned out for me. And... They just didn't really want me to stay here. It kind of wasn't really in my hands. <laughs> Obviously, I told them at the time that I had you, and I don't want to leave you, but they weren't listening. And so, I was just like, forced to leave in a way. <laughs> and I wanted to stay in contact with you so bad, but I just couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to message you or call you. I thought it wasn't right. And I knew that I could have came back any time and apologized, but I wasn't even sure that you would want to see me at all. I thought you despised me. I still think you do. I don't even know why I'm telling you this. You probably don't want to hear it. But I just feel like I owe you an explanation. And although it's not really the best one out there, I have to be honest with you, and this is really the only reason. But ever since you, I haven't been able to move on or look at anybody else the way I looked at you. I know that we were young. Trust me, I know that. But it's really true that you can't forget your first love. And although I tried, I tried so hard to date other people and I put myself out there. <laughs> Nothing worked. I'd always find myself comparing them to you. Comparing their hair, their eyes, their personality, or even the way they dress. <laughs> Just everything. And then I realized that I can't have two of you. There's only one you in this world and I lost you at the time. I'm not here asking you to forgive me or to redeem myself, but I just want to put this out there, okay? I never stopped thinking about you. I was always like one press away from calling you. But I understand that you probably moved on and you don't want anything to do with me, I get it. I guess all I'm asking for is just a chance to be your friend again. Wait, just hear me out. Why do you look like that? Sorry, I should probably stop talking. I didn't want to ruin your night. Oh, well, um... I don't really have much to do. I was thinking of just, I don't know, walking around by myself a little bit, taking in the views that I missed. A lot has changed around here, and I feel like a stranger again, so I just want to get used to it all again, you know? If you want to join me. Look, I have to be honest with you. Not that I'm looking into your eyes, I just find it hard to hold back, and I have to say that the only reason I came back now is for you. I literally only came back here for you, because I wanted to see you, whether that was me being able to talk to you or not. I just wanted to see you and maybe get that closure that I needed. 
it hurts me to even say that because I, I don't want closure. I want you. I never stop loving you. And I don't think I ever will. So, if you would like to, I'd love to see, like, where we would go from here. And just get to know this new you. There's a lot to explore about you. Mmm, me too. Well, how do you know that? You've been keeping up with my social media. <laughs> Is that the case? <laughs> so I'm not the only one. Mm, you just sit there and wait for me to post something? Is that what it is? <laughs> no, I'm just winding you up. Come on. No, I'll never stop being a tease. If I was once annoying, I'll be annoying again. <laughs> I haven't changed, you know. The only thing that did change about me is my hair. It's a little bit longer. A different color, have you noticed? <laughs> Yeah, and I finally got my dream car. It's right there. I know. Thanks. I guess I finally feel like an adult, and my parents can't control me anymore. They can't tell me where I can stay and where I can't stay because, well, I'm my own person. And I can make my own choices now, so if I want to stay here, then I will whether you like that or not. Really? You what? Oh, I missed you so much. <laughs> oh, you got so tall, what the heck? That's not fair. I used to be taller than you. Okay, maybe not taller, the same height. Ugh, you're annoying. You'll never let me have my light. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It feels really, really good to see you smile again. God, now I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulder, and I'm just so excited to be here. Really, I just want to make up for all of our lost time together, and I want to do everything that you and I ever dreamed of. Yeah. We can book a flight anywhere you want. I really don't care. <laughs> Just as long as I get to be with you, of course. No. No friends. As much as I miss everyone else, I'm not really here for them. I'm here for one reason only, and that's you. <laughs> I'm so happy. Hmm... <laughs> You're cute. So, what were you doing for the rest of the night? Really? Dinner? At your place? What, you know how to cook now? <laughs> Look at you, Mr. Professional. What are you gonna make me? Ooh. All right then, I'm done for that. I'm curious to see how your food's gonna taste. And if it's bad, then I'm just gonna say it. I've always been straightforward, you know that. <laughs> well, I can always cook us something too. Um, I could make brownies. What? What, you don't even know that. You don't know how I cook yet. Mm, you'll see. I'm amazing. But seriously, thank you so much. I... I needed to hear this from you. I love you. Like, I really, really do love you. And I don't want to lose you ever again. I promise I'm never gonna leave, okay? You have my word. I'm right here with you. Just 
Slovenia. Now come on, I need to check out my new car.